kind of hard to ride this and still complain because it's liquid cool it's got traction control it's got the ride modes it's got anything you can think of it's it's on here <laughs> Yo, so I just made it out here to District Harley Davidson. Today is my dad's birthday, and uh, since I have his bike here in DC, what better way to celebrate his birthday than to call him from the dealership so he could virtually look at the uh, new 2024 models that they got out here on the floor. So let's go inside here to District Harley Davidson and uh, see what they got in stock. There's the uh, my dad's. USS Lexington right there, you know what I'm saying? CV-16. Oh yeah, the doors are open. Uh-oh, here we go. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Hey, hey, Chop, how you doing? All right, all right. So I got this question for you. How you doing? All right, all right, Larry. Gary, Gary, nice to meet you. So is the CVO sold? So, so do you? Yeah. No, no, well, like, <laughs> no. I'm saying because I, I uh, Sam told you, told me I had a CVO. Yeah, we do. Uh, so it's in the back. Oh, know? it's in the back. Oh, okay, okay. I yeah. Could, uh, I can show you. Oh, sweet. Yeah, yeah. I, I like to see that. <laughs> uh oh, oh, go ahead. Oh, okay. Go ahead, yeah. Oh snap. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So I'm going through TDI right now. So. I didn't hear you. Uh, I might be going to TDI like pre delivery inspection. Okay. You know, you're not supposed to really be back here, but I'm, I'm going to show you real quick. And sure. Then we'll, you know, so I got to go through uh, pre delivery inspection. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool deal. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh, yeah. Got that new bike smell. Oh yeah, that's tough. Yeah, this this is tough. This is tough, real tough. I oh, bet I don't know if I was. Hey. That's Darren. That's the. Darren. Hey, what's happening, Darren? Ducati Darren. All right, Italian Darren. Italian. The Ducati Darren. The Ducati Darren. Oh, okay. What's happening, Ducati How's it Darren? How's going, my friend? I'm doing well, man. I'm doing well, man. Happy New Year, Ducati. Ooh. Says the guy with the hog Harley Owners Group water bottle, right? Oh, I gotta do some extreme talking to the missus to convince her to let me get a. Uh, Hey, hey, hey. You made it? Yes, sir. How you doing, sir? Sir, uh, we're cleaning them off. Oh, yeah. Them out, so. First time seeing it? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In person. Yeah, in person, yeah. And these are still just their M8, yes. but they're liquid cool now. Right, okay. Ask about the VVT because it still has that huge additional part on there or whatever. Yeah, you're right. That's like the yeah, yeah, in comparison to, you know, the previous M8 yeah. design. Outside of the Screaming Eagle uh, upgrades, or whatever, like there's, like nobody's making necessarily making any cams for the VVT um, setup or whatever. But since the non-CVO models are non-VVT, that makes it even better. There's motor upgrades, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Let's see, let's see. Hey, I know that guy. Yeah. Looks good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, snap. I know that guy too. Hey, that's my dad. <laughs> Pretty dang on awesome. American Dreaming. Hi, damn. Well, you know, you had before you had the Road Glide, Road Glide Special, mm -hmm. and the Road Glide ST. Right. Now we're at the single platform. 
and then from here the customer can do whatever they want yeah. to it. Okay. So if they want a more of an SD style bike, they yeah. can go that route. Right. right, okay. Or if they want a special, but they, they're just uh, the single platform. Okay. Real glide or street glide now. Okay, sweet, uh, sweet. Okay. But they all are doing the bigger 117s in them now. Sweet. And these are now liquid cooled. Liquid cooled. Ah, yeah. okay. So all of them are liquid cooled. Yeah. Versus back in the multiple the, bikes they had one with like a cool and the they other had one. Uh, it's called precision cooling okay oil cooled. right so um then you had the twin cold motors mm -hmm. on the limiteds right that have the radiators and the lowers yeah and you get with the cooling that way right but here yeah it's more efficient more efficient right better at uh, you know, keeping the rider cooler right you know, better heat management ah yeah is there a provision for uh, lower fairings for these things, or you would have to go to the go to a bigger bar more or traditional, traditional style engine guard, right? Okay, and then do the lowers that way. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Like on your All right. Gen. Okay. You get the new lighting system. Mm -hmm. the new. Uh, you know, big 12.3 TFT display. Right, right. As a you know, pretty wow. just did in the CBO. Looks like you can watch a movie on it. Right. But yeah, real nice. You know, with a glove on, it's also touchscreen. Right. So. Now, one thing you do get on the CBO mm -hmm. standard is onboard navigation. Okay, this doesn't have navigation? It, does but it's a subscription really it's a subscription oh or you could just you know, carb carb apple play, play right. uh, just handlebars oh back. yeah oh yeah you can oh you can do that yeah. golly and just so easy like, uh, right there what is it? 27 degrees of adjustment okay you go out for a demo ride yeah gary take you out <laughs> Right, right, right. Hey, there you go. The new 2024 models. So you don't want to be the first one to ride it? That'd be cool. <sighs> a beautiful day for it, too. I know. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so usually I'm pretty good about like uh, peer pressure and everything, you know saying no to drugs and all. I think I'm gonna have to uh, ride that, uh, that right there. Road glide? Yeah, that road glide. Larry, don't forget to get Jake on the vlog too. Hey! Jake. What's happening, Jake? What's so going on with you, all right? What's up, man? How's yeah, it been? I can't call it, can't call it, can't call it. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh man. Oh. Why'd I let these guys talk me into doing this? Ah. So I've given in to peer pressure. I'm about to test ride the new 2024 Road Glide. Oh. So we're about to get started. Wait, a minute, so there's no key. No, nope. so oh. not your traditional Harley ignition. Okay. Just push a button and then. Press down to fire it up. Okay. All right. All right, Mr. Tommy. Sir.
Oh man. So what you guys didn't see just now before I got on the bike is that my wife called me and asked me, hey, when are you coming home? I had to tell her, hey, uh, I'm just riding the bike. Oh, man. Yeah, unfortunately, I'll get one of these things out. It's uh, 117 is kind of peppy. Yeah. I got peer pressed into riding the new 2024 road glide. Now I gotta figure out how I can tell my wife we need to have one of these at home. Oh boy. Yeah, this thing, this thing is smooth. Rod pretty doggone good. Right now I'm in third gear. Doing right about 50. I'm in a little bit of traffic. Uh, Sam salesman right ahead of me. He to take me for a test ride through the uh, back roads up here in Gaithersburg. Man, oh man. They almost don't really have to change the bars on this thing. Bad boy definitely does get up and go. Like I said, it's only a 117. And, you know, when the Milwaukee 8 was first introduced, they came as 107s. Who'd have thought in 2024, 117 would be the standard issue? I can already tell that this bike would be a customizer's dream. It's already got a big motor in it. Uh, the bars are already nice. So, you know, from there, you know, you add to different grips. Aftermarket parts, folks, like Lin Ness, uh, Machine. I'm sure they are working on other uh, collections for, you know, new parts, whatever, but this bike is nice. This bike is nice. I, uh, I'm going to have to get one of these. Yeah, all the customizers and builders are going to love this new bike. I know when the pictures of this thing first dropped online, the 2023 CBO models, a lot of the guys, a lot of folks, didn't necessarily care for the bearing. I mean, because even if you take consideration that when a previous generation uh, roadblock came out, they didn't like those new one-piece headlights. Uh, this new lighting system is pretty dope. Like Sam mentioned earlier, all the roadblock variants and street glide variants are gone in one platform. It's just a single bike, then you can do whatever you want to it. You know, you want to go the performance bagger route, you know, you can change the bike and turn it into a performance bagger. 
Yeah. This is a nice bike. And as Will Smith once said, I have got to get me one of these. I gotta get one of these. It's an awesome platform. I know you said that it does this only come with one model and this just single bike. It's already off to a good start. Like it's not just like you you can do T bars on this thing easily if you want to do T bars. You can put eight on this thing. Yeah, this thing is pretty sweet. So if you want one of these, come see Sam here at uh Sister Carly Davidson. It'll get you one. Is it gonna be yours? <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm like this. Uh -huh. You need one of these. Yeah. <laughs> Just a blip of the throttle, man. It, it's up and going, man. Like, yeah. you know, it's it's a really lighter, nice better power to weight ratio. Oh yeah. Yeah. So it gets an awesome like blank canvas. Right. All the customizers are gonna really love this thing, man, because you know you do the T bars and all that kind of stuff for the T bar dudes. Tour pack. Be more. You need that extra luggage space. Yes, sir. Oh, man. Stocking hardware. Yeah, everything. Anybody who comes out and get one of these things, man, like, they're going to be really impressed with it. It's one of the things. They got the uh, coil right here next to the uh, where the horn used to be. Used to be, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's where the horn is. Oh, that's the horn right there. Everybody, I'll make sure he brings it back in, all right? Wow, that's that's weird. That's different. And I'm sure. And hey, are you have a good one? And I'm sure the Street Glide is an awesome ride as well. For you guys that still have, gotta have the bat wing. Right, right, right. But this this thing right here, ooh, ooh. Nope. How was that demo ride? Larry, how was the demo ride? His friend is coming back. Tomorrow. Unbelievable, right? Yeah. yeah. Man, okay, so I will let you know right off rip. My wife was all before I put my leg over the sink. I, the bike was running, helmet was on. My wife calls me and I'm talking to her in the helmet. And she's like, Hey, kind of like when you come home because we're hungry. So they're home hungry right now. Yeah, feeding your soul. No, ah, <laughs> feeding my soul. Oh yeah, well, this this true. definitely feeds your soul, man. Like it it yeah. it gets up and goes. This is all you can eat, right? Yeah. Like I, I only pretty much rode it from the warehouse into the showroom. Yeah. And you can tell the throttle was not there. It scared me. It's a complete bike. Right. Adjustable levers, nicer stock grips. Right. Everything's been updated. Yeah. For all the people, the the naysayers and like folks that who don't. Who always wonder like why Harley hasn't done this or why didn't he do that? Other bikes do this, whatever. It's kind of hard to ride this and still complain because it's liquid cool. It's got traction control. It's got the ride modes. It's got anything you can think of. It's it's on here. You too can have one of these here at District Harley Davidson in Gaithersburg, Maryland. Thanks guys for for convincing me to. Uh, the first one to ride it to be the first one to ride it i mean i'm usually pretty good with 
avoiding peer pressure and all, whatever, but like. Take it home today. Oh, Lord. Oh, man. I have an awesome family. I don't want to lose my family going home with a bike because, like. So, like, cooling systems better than the uh, previous generation, too. Yeah. New cooling system. Who would have thought in 2024 this was possible? Thanks, God. Thanks, Sam. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Get this, uh license plate and everything to you. I get to keep my family. You can really ride these new colors for a while without even worrying about like pain. Yeah. I'm always worried about pain or whatever, but. Yes, I did make it home in time enough to pick up dinner for my family. Thanks for tuning into this episode of Build, Ride, Repeat. And uh, if you like stuff like this, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.